Today we're making some shiplap. We bought 4 by 8 plywood sheets, which were cut at the store. We have a table saw to do the rest of the cuts. We use the table saw to cut each piece 6 inches wide. I'm using a folding table saw with a 10 inch blade. Uh, this, this unit just works awesome. While I was able to do most of the cuts by myself here, it is easier if you have someone on the other side pulling the wood through, uh, especially for long pieces. For this shot, as you can see, my helper is holding the camera, so I just had to pull it through by myself. Once I cut all 10,000 pieces, I used a palm sander just to sand off the edges and knock off all the splinters. I then used my handy dandy trusty Ryobi jigsaw to cut all my small pieces, cutouts, knockouts, everything else. Unfortunately, the water closet is teeny tiny, so we weren't able to record while we were mounting the boards. We're just doing some uh, walkthroughs here in a minute. As you can see, we use nickels to space the boards. I use my 18 volt Ryobi Brad gun to uh, mount all the boards to the wall and uh, inch and three eighths brads. Uh, just pretty simple. If you have a jigsaw cutting out the electrical boxes for plumbing, uh, light switches, light sockets, etc., it's really simple. Just draw lines, cut it out. Jigsaw makes that really easy. As you can see, we topped everything with a decorative edge. We used a natural wood filler to fill all the holes left by the nails. We also caulked all the angles, baseboards, and tried to make sure everything was as watertight as we could. Once the wall was all prepped and dry, uh, we put some plastic on the floor and we were ready to paint. To paint the bathroom, we actually used Sherwin-Williams products. We primed it first and then added two coats of semi-gloss white paint. Here you can see the bathroom, all painted, and shiny, shiny little star. For the accent wall, we rocked over our furred out wall and cut the holes for the plumbing. My Tweety 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 Pie asked me to start from the top, even though I protested and wanted to start from the bottom. Here's a shot with the boards from the top coming down to the light fixtures. It's about halfway done at this point. We filled all the holes with some wood filler after I overused my nail gun and made sure everything was nice and flush. When we were ready to paint, we masked the walls, primed the wall, and then used two coats of Sherwin Williams semi gloss paint. Came out real nice. Here's a live action shot of me putting some trim on the wall. We use quarter round to kind of make it all look finished and that goes all the way up to the top. We also use caulking to make sure that it stays put as well as create a moisture barrier between the side wall and the accent wall. Here's a shot of the water closet, all nice and done. As well as the accent wall with our light fixtures in place. I wanted to give a special thanks to Lamps Plus for providing us with these beautiful light fixtures. It really helped us complete our vision. And thank you Ryobi for sponsoring the table saw we use in this video. You really helped us put it together. The tool works great. I can't endorse it enough. It was really fantastic. And this is all for now. And there's more to come. Follow us as we continue our journey.